Hey, welcome back everybody. We've got a cloudy, rainy day out. So what better excuse than get the JL back in the garage and start working on it. Today we're gonna to be installing a matte black uh, vinyl hood decal from Pixel Decals. Um, to do so, it's a pretty simple process. Not a whole lot of things that you're gonna need. Uh, something you can definitely do at home in your garage. Uh, but we'll walk you step by step through the processes of what's gonna be needed to do that. Uh, first off, the tools that are needed is you'll just need a trim removal tool. Uh, you'll use this to get the under hood shield uh, removed to access your windshield washer squirters. Uh, next, of course, you're just gonna need the decal to put on it, a soapy water solution. It just helps you keep the decal pliable so you can move it around to make sure you get it in place um, before final installation. And then you'll just need a spreader to be able to get all the air bubbles uh, out of the decal. One extra step that we're going to take on this just to give it a nice added touch is we got a red pinstripe uh, to match the stripes around the Rubicon decal. We're going to outline the matte black decal with that red stripe. Uh, just really set it apart from uh, other ones out there. So let's get after it and we'll start the install process. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is just apply the solution, just spray it, get the whole area that you're going to be working on good and covered with that solution. All right, next thing, you'll be peeling back the decal. Uh, when I do this, I like to put some solution on the back side of that as well. Go ahead and start getting that laid out kind of about where you want it.
once you get the stripe laid out to where you want it, you're just going to want to start in the center and start working all of that water out. dry um, you want to go back and just where your washer nozzles go you're going to trim out the holes for that uh, it's pretty simple all you need to do is just cut a little x in it so that um, the studs can go back through it and your washer nozzle can go back through it got everything installed. Now one more thing that we're going to do just to add another touch to it is we found the matching pinstripe decal to match your Rubicon decals on the side of your JL. We're just going to go ahead 
do just a nice fine pinstripe around the outside of this matte black vinyl decal uh, just to tie everything together. So we're going to show you step by step how to do that. Before we get into that though, I do have some special news for all of our JL followers out there. Um, I've got a matte black vinyl decal that I'm going to be doing a giveaway on. So if you own a JL and if you're interested in getting this same look on your Jeep, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, uh, comment down below, and we'll uh, enter you into the drawing to win this uh, vinyl for your Jeep. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start laying out the pinstripe down the side of this. So there you have it. We've got everything finished up, put the red pinstripe on. To me, it just ties everything together. Uh, gives it just that little added touch uh, to set it apart from everything else out there. So again, thanks for tuning in. As always, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And if you would like your chance to have your own black vinyl decal for your JL hood, hit that subscribe button uh, and you'll be entered into the contest for a chance to win one of your own. Thanks again and stay tuned for more how-to videos.